Hi Focus fans, I'm Alicia Malone. Welcome to the very first episode of Real Destinations. We tour the locations that make our favorite movies look and feel real. This episode is brought to you by Visit Britain, who have set up a fantastic itinerary. I'm excited. We're on location in the spectacular British countryside, the setting for the film, Downton Abbey. The film picks up a few years after where the television series ended, with the Crawley family and their staff preparing for a visit from the King and Queen. Welcome to Downton Abbey. This film features many stunning locations, and today we're visiting Highclere Castle. These grounds are one of the most impressive parks in southern England, with sprawling acres just about an hour and a half west of London. And every year, thousands of visitors from around the world come to tour this historic castle and appreciate its beauty. Let's go take a look inside. Hello, welcome to Highclere Castle. Can I come in? I would love you to come in. Although this is the fictional home of the Crawley family, Highclere Castle is the real-life residence for the Earl and Countess of Carnarvon. Can we take a look around? Follow me this way. Now, this room looks familiar. It does. <laughs> it's both our library and the library on Downton Abbey, really, isn't it? Wow, it's so beautiful. So how did Highclere get chosen for Downton Abbey in the first place? Through good food and good wine. <laughs> <laughs> Julie and Emma Fellows were good friends of Geordie's and mine, so when Geordie and I took over, I wanted to make it a home, just not a museum. So I spent some time fixing up bedrooms and bathrooms and plumbing so we could fill it with friends. I want every surface to gleam and sparkle. Filming in Highclere for over a decade, some props from Downton Abbey have found a new home inside the castle. The Earl of Grantham. Highclere Castle is somehow even more beautiful in person than it is on screen. It's hard to believe that I'm actually here. And now, thanks to the success of Downton Abbey, you get so many visitors from all over the world. What is the question they ask you the most? I think they most ask me what it's like to live in a castle today. I never take it for granted, but it is a different way of life. Lady Carnarvon, thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much for coming here. from Highclere is Bampton, which doubles as the village of Downton in both the series and the film. And you can see why, just walking down these streets, it really does feel like you're stepping back in time. My heart is fit to burst. Bampton is very proud about their association with Downton Abbey. Although it doesn't appear in the film, this house would be very recognisable for Downton Abbey fans. There's no better way to reflect on the magic of these locations than over a fresh pint in a London pub. And this charming bar makes an appearance in Downton Abbey. Can you tell us about the history of this place? This was built in the early 30s in the sort of Art Deco pub style. Everything in here is original. I am living my best life in the pub of my dreams. Everything's set up to look like the 30s and 40s. Pubs are still very busy. They spill over in the street, after work, so they are still a big part of London culture. Cheers! Cheers! If you travel for stories, then you will want to experience the world of Downton Abbey for yourself. Check out visitbritain.com to start planning your own British getaway. And don't miss Downton Abbey, only in theatres this September. I'm Alicia Malone. I'll see you at the next Real Destination. Cheers! <laughs>